What's up guys, still being installing this carbon fiber high kick spoiler from Subnir on my 63 AMG. First thing I do is take off this old spoiler I got over here, it's just made of plastic, it's pretty simple. Um, it is kind of taped on there from OEM, from the factory. Um, the only concern I have right now is that this car is matte paint, you really don't want to mess up the paint at all because um, you can't buff it out, you just can't buff out matte paint. So, um, what I'll probably do is align the edges with some um, painter's tape and clean the surface around it just to make sure it's spotless. Then we can go ahead and use some fishing line and some heat and we can take off the old one. As you can see there was a tiny, I have a tiny gap in between the stock spoiler and the actual paint itself. So just kind of slid it down in between and then hopefully that should help a lot with the actual taking the spoiler off and sticking some fishing line in between. Just kind of make sure that tape is all coming off nice and easy without scratching the paint at all. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this all the way across. I might just do it over here when you get started and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. Alright so all I've done so far is put some tape sort of in the corner where I'm going to be grabbing on the spoiler. And then I'm just kind of heating up the entire sort of spoiler right over there, the entire thing. And I'm uh, not going too close to it, just kind of get enough where it heats the material up, just so that we get the heat of below kind of heat up. I actually noticed that this side, um, where the AMG badge is already pretty loose. All right, so then the spoiler warm enough, we're just trying to lift up a little bit, a little bit more, and if I kind of pull more, it's slowly kind of coming off more as we speak, which is a good sign. So what I'm going to do now is get some fishing line and uh, simply floss through, just if you floss your teeth, just floss the spoiler off. Um, it'll kind of cut the existing tape out of the way and uh, we can kind of make more progress as we keep going along. And there we go, I've got my old spoiler off. Kind of looks weird in the car now with the, just that barren sort of <laughs> lip. Looks pretty ugly actually. Especially with all that tape and debris and stuff. So we'll take that off next. But uh, it's kind of funny if you look at the actual spoiler. It's got all the dates that this was originally put on, which 27th of October 2014. That's pretty funny. This car must be produced, I think, in late December. All right, so I'm not taking the old tape off yet, and you can actually see with the new spoiler kind of test fit on here that the old spoiler kind of would extend out a little bit further. Um, so it's less of an extension, uh, less of an extensive sort of U shape, I mean, less curved rather. Um, this new one seems to mimic the curve of the rear part of the trunk, which looks awesome, I think, and I'm really happy with how this is looking so far. This is really just sticking on the car by the uh, remnant tape on the trunk lids. So it's probably not very secure on there at all. If I were to tap it, it'd probably fall off. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this looks so far. Check that out and kind of see how tall it goes. It is pretty dirty, keep in mind, and uh, it follows that edge pretty damn well, I gotta say. So, this looks awesome. I couldn't ask for more. I think this is a really great quality product. Um, I know a lot of these spoilers can actually, you know, come on, come out of the box pretty warped and stuff, but uh, this is what Gary had at Subnir. He just gave me what he had. This is the last one he had in stock. I believe he's getting a new shipment in pretty soon. Um, so I'll put the link below to the spoiler. Um, but uh, yeah, it's looking really good so far. This is a good time to mention that the uh, the coupes actually have a different trunk lid than the sedans do. So a lot of people don't recognize this because um, it is pretty hard to tell the difference. But there actually is a small difference in the coupe trunk lid versus the sedan trunk lid. Um, in that the coupe kind of has a more, it's probably easier to see in this lighting. But you can kind of see above the star, there's sort of a point there. So the coupe trunk lids are more pointed at the, at the rear than the sedan ones are. So as a result, these spoilers are not you know compatible with both. There's only one fits a coupe or one fits a sedan, and it's not both. Alrighty guys, I've gone out as much tape as possible that I could get off. Um, now, because I have a matte car, like I said earlier, can't polish this off, can't do any compounding, can't do any of that crazy stuff. So um, I'm gonna leave it as it is. So only thing to keep in mind is that you can actually kind of see a little bit of where the old tape would be, which you can kind of see a faint line right there. Um, of, um, of where the tape would be with the new spoiler on as it kind of is more curved, like I mentioned earlier. So um, for some reason on my car, it's leaving this really weird, like sort of faint residue line, which is not really going away, but I think if I give it some time, just the elements and washing the car and stuff, it'll go away eventually. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, so now I've already put this spoiler on the car. So all I do now is take off the tape off the bottom over here. It is, was pre-installed on my spoiler to me, so I'm gonna take it off and just set it on down. And you kind of want to make sure it's over that ridge crook like I was saying before, so you just get this tape off. Now I do recommend putting out a finger on either side, so you can kind of get a good idea of the gap you're getting between the um, trunk lid and the spoiler. Alright, like this position it's at right now, I'm going to press down along the entire thing. And just like that, it's looking pretty solid, I gotta say. Now, I would not drive the car for a while after installing this, kinda want to cure a little bit and tape to settle. I'm also gonna put some um, tape just around the top of this uh, spoiler and also to the toe of the bottom of the car, or bottom of the trunk lid rather, to make sure it's just kinda all tight and on the uh, car properly, add some tension to it overnight. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put some tape and show you guys real quick what that looks like. 
All right, now this is totally optional, uh, but I went ahead and put some tape on. I usually do this when I install spoilers just to make sure the uh, force is distributed evenly along the tape at the bottom of the spoiler. And as you can see, I have some tape going along the front end with some tension, of course, and then some along the back side, but totally optional, not necessary, just kind of overkill, but I right, doing that. Um, but uh, yeah, now I'm gonna take the tape off because it's been a couple days. And um, despite the car being very dirty, we're gonna check it out. And there we have it. Like I said, my car is very dirty right now. It doesn't really show as much on camera, which is good, but uh, the spoiler looks fantastic. Also, if you have a Mac car like mine, you have this residue over here, like I was kind of mentioning earlier. One of my buddies with him, Edition 1 Matt Black T63, actually had this exact same problem as me, and he found this adhesive remover that works pretty flawlessly, so I bought it on Amazon, it was like 10 bucks, I think, so I'll put that in the description below if you have a Mac car. But yeah, like I said earlier, check out 7 they got the really good carbon stuff. I have a new fusion I'm going to be putting on soon, I have their front lip, which I installed in the previous video, uh, but this spoiler looks great, I think. Um, if you have a BMW, those have BMW stuff, the 92s and stuff, um, you can see my front lip is looking good so far put some uh, pictures up in a second 